So in case you're wondering what the diploma in history is going to look like, it'll look a lot like this, except that it'll probably be a different colour shirt every week. Um, we are about to head into a period of 10 years or so of commemoration about how we disengaged from the British Empire and the union with Britain. And uh, what I hope to look at is, what was that all about? What was the union? Was it really so bad? Was it really so terrible? Was it much better when we actually got out of it? Was it likely to be much better when we actually got out of it? So those are some of the questions we're going to be asking. I have also promised in the blurb, which I'm sure you've all read by now, things like murder, arson, adultery, inflated egos, so on and so forth. Just to drill down a little bit through some of those. Murder, straight away, what comes to mind? The Mount Trasna murders, 1882, in a small little hovel in Galway. Why was a family of five murdered? What was the effect of that? What effect did it have on national politics? What was it all about? The Phoenix Park murders, the murder of Cavendish and Burke, in the Phoenix Park by the Invincibles. What was that all about? What effect did that have? Was it actually designed to, uh, in some way, discommode, unseat, or unhorse Charles Stuart Parnell? Which brings us on neatly to adultery. And uh, you need, again, look no further than the aforementioned Charles Stuart Parnell uh, when it comes to that particular topic. And you could ask the question, what would Ireland have been like in the 1890s? Indeed, what would Ireland have been like in the 20th century had he never met Catherine O'Shea? Um, inflated egos. You need look no further than Daniel O'Connell and thereby hangs many, many tales indeed. So what we're going to be doing is also going under the surface, if you like, under the radar, not just looking at the big names, the marquee names like Parnell and Collins and De Valera and Daniel O'Connell, but looking at people that you would probably otherwise never have heard of, not necessarily by name, but looking at what it was that made life tick under the Union, what it was that made life tick in the cities, in the countryside, um, asking questions like, why did a million people starve to death in Ireland in the 1840s? What could it have been done? What could have been done rather to prevent it? Um, why did the deaths of 14 men in 1916 have such a profound effect on Irish history? So these are some of the issues, some of the many, many issues that we're going to be exploring over a period of 10 weeks and uh, 30 hours. But above all, the essence of the whole thing will be, let's make history fun. <laughs>